here um, is a bit in favor in that once, but they mm. both teams have not played against each other for a long, long time. I don't remember the last match. So, um, and here now we go. Now it's starting um, really strong and fast from both teams. Pan Malc covers the ball going in there. And you've already seen a nice move here from mm. Malc. They grabbed the ball here with the blue team without the shirts. Mm. Um, you know, and then brought the ball up and we have seen a, like... A yeah, there very was a goal. Quick first goal. I think it was Matthias Otten here from the closed side. Received the pass from Georg yes. Daringer with the number elf. And this was... Super, super nice one. So, at number 11, Mikhail Wiesel brought the ball down to Georg Daringer and he passed Passive. the ball on the other side to Matthias Otten and he could score immediately. This was a quick one, not even one minute played in his 1 0 lead for March. Can you hear us better now? We had some complaints about our voice. Are we here to. to uh, are we loud enough? And then we have uh, some guys watching. We have uh, Selina Gaetan. Hola. Uh, su hermano está jugando. Su pr uh, her brother is playing right now with number nine, Camilo Gaetan. So now we see here Barcelona now with the ball possession they're coming in uh, and the, like the opponent's half here of trying to keep the ball down. They're playing with this jersey. It's a super nice like invention. Just, yeah. Under Rod Robin makes it super easy for us to follow the numbers and the names. Even for you, you can go on the homepage uwr24.de.de. There you can find the team lists where you can find the numbers and the names. Now March broke through, but number 15, Carlos Santiveri, um, stopped the attack, slowed it down so the defense could establish. Then we have another player go in, um, trying to now we see Sasha Büchner, he was waiting a long time and now he passing yes. the ball down on the other side. Colin Levy with number three, like going to the surface, but he's pushing a bit the players. So I think this could be also called by the referees because yes. he was quite active here in the situation. But the referees here, they keep going. So you see, um, as number four, uh, Ferran Rigual uh, was nicely positioned under the under the scrum but it was playing outside the uh, playing area so we have a free throw for March against Barcelona and, here you, and see you see Christian Brovald Christian here getting in his position we have seen a, s a similar pattern at the for the German team now here and you see the pass he received the ball now it's and but they managed to it was I think Jens Dingel here or could, I don't who tried to score or Jürgen Schier I am yeah. not sure so now the no, goalie was lifted one. and there was a goal. The goalie lifted and it was a goal. Now we see the recap on the live stream. I don't know. I don't see who scored. It was a very close, or let's say a very tough attack here with yes. two, three waves and finally it was, there was a goal. Unfortunately, we could even in the replay not really see who scored here, but we see here Michael Wiesel interception the ball and now bringing the back ball here to Alexander Wicht, passing the ball to Florian Wiesel and then and it's there's again... There's missing, there's Martin missing the defense, trying, there's nobody on top of the uh, Barcelona goal now, there's coming. I think the girls put a more established defense. Definitely, yeah. They're playing quite offensive yes. here. Yes. But they're but losing. And now they're breaking through. Number three, uh, Abreu. It's now here um, alone with the goalkeeper, but not really trying to take his out of breath. Needs yes. to go to the surface. Now bringing back the ball. Now they're trying to establish an attack, and they're like, number one, Albert. is trying now. They're passing to him. The double pass, this was very nice, well done, number 15. And there comes the second wave, that's uh, Shari Filter, um, known as Chef, number 17. Um, but you see Camilo is uh, yeah. fighting for the ball. So now March tries to get more like, a, like bring in more calm by like, a, or like scrumming the ball, like they're, they're, they're wrestling with the, with the ball attacker, bringing him to the surface, the springs the game a bit calming down here and now we see the wrestling, the scrumming at the surface and uh, so every but player recovering from the uh, that's actually Jeff recovering the ball 
there's nicely plays uh, Albert catches it. He's one of the more experienced players. Carlos Santiveri, who played this year um, much. Uh, they played in Mülheim. They try to play in high quality leagues to improve a lot. They have a new new players. This was quite good here. And Sasha Büchner, we see here with the number two now coming from the crown from the bottom here, trying to get here against two players. He brings a lot of pressure to the. Barcelona basket and this of course takes a lot of breath and, and later in the uh, second or third wave then you have a lot of spaces that is yes. super important for player like doing this but again now right now you see Barcelona doing a well job here in the defense this is much better than they've done in the beginning so we have like four was five out and another one but where it comes from it was from 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 the close side, side. They, no close side they played on the close side really tense and then there was just one millisecond of of uh, space and they used it and uh, turned it into a goal. But we have to say that Malch, as we said before, is really um, in the thirst for, for a win because Could they be in, in, in a lot sure. of years they, they managed to uh, win the league against uh, Bamberg and now they really want to achieve something here so they're trying to... Unfortunately the team looks quite similar. There are not a lot of... Oh, this was a... a attacking the face here by the, the Barcelona yes. player against Michael Wiesel, the number 11. Unfortunately, the, the players are looking quite similar. So it's not that easy to see here who is who, but I think it could be that this, the third goal was made by Martin Schottmiller. I would just say, like, uh, yes. this is who it looks okay. to close it more for me right now in this situation. And so Barcelona is establishing an attack from the corner trying to, to um, keep the position of the ball and now at the surface in the scrum they're lying uh, nicely underneath number 20 number 27 um, stealing the guard but then they break through Camilo Gaetan is trying to um, uh, slow down the counter attack and struggling in the corner of the Barcelonans stealing and the ball is in the middle. Wicht now right now receiving the pass and trying to attack from above, coming back to the bottom, bring the ball on the other side. Now and they the ball is the way loose. still in favor for Malch here. I think Georg Daringer here was fighting now. You see Martin Schottmiller passing the ball to It's quite hard to, to follow who is who, but at least it's Mall still in ball possession and they... But the ball is coming more and more to the surface. I'm a bit wondering about it. We have not seen it in the female match before, so it was like a bit different here in the, in the, in the game style. Yeah. So, oh, now we so see we Colin Leibler yeah. here with the oh attack. And that's a really well strong attack. Well defended. Um, and now passing, passing to Martin Carlos Santillini. Here. Schottmiller recovering. Um, passing the passing ball. There are three people. And now Matthias Orton here passed the ball on the open and side again. Yeah, and the defender, defender got to break through with the ball, trying to pass the middle line. There the scrum at the surface, no referee call. That's a quite intense game. I think Barcelona is also a little bit struggling with the depth, I think. Maybe that's why they, they have more times that they... Oh, now it's a timeout from Marsh. One minute, maybe they're also unsatisfied with their game. Um, Barcelona is if, hmm? yeah. if you would summarize the match right so far, so we started super intense with yes. immediately the first goal in the first minute. Yes. So the first attack was super massive, a strong pass on the other side, and then we yeah. had a score. Maybe it was, uh, I guess it was uh, Matthias Otten. Um, then we had the second one, even same pattern, like they're having the ball. The, it's not by counter attack, yeah. attack. it's the, the the Barcelona team has always a chance to get on a proper defense. And then they're playing around, 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 two, three waves. And then at the latest, yep. uh, one wave is uh, scoring then there. We had uh, another score. We don't know who was the third, the second, but the third might be uh, Martin Schottmiller. And on the other side, we've seen the Barcelona team have an also ball possession, but they don't have really See. the chance to get close to the basket. Exception. No. The only exception was this one counterattack we had yes. from number 23, passing to number 3. Maybe oh, anyway. yeah. Could be. Oh, I think it's a referee ball. Actually, the the one of the uh, referees down down for that. It's a referee ball, and it yep. dropped. So 
Barcelona is getting the position. I think it was Carlos Santiveri passing to Daniel, number 23. He's a really fast player, mm -hmm. but they're also used to train in a pool that doesn't even reach three meters. Um, so, but they they improved also like three zero against March is a good 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 start for Barcelona. Um, they have to be more confident in their defense. Um, they're trying to really go past the middle line. If you see Christian Brewer, for example, you're not trying to yeah. steal the defender position or get in a certain block Just position. Just blocking, yeah. And you see how the team wants to start their attack, but Barcelona very well defended here. Yes. You see, it would be right super, super, super dangerous situation yeah. if they would let them through. But here he was now like defended before he could make the, the this yeah. uh, dangerous pass. So well done by Barcelona. Now Barcelona has the ball, tried to, but there was nobody underneath this scrum, and this is fast attack. Yeah. But, but there was right in Otten second. here making a fast, fast break and passing the ball down to, this must be Markus Heckrath. And, then and he's super engaged here, but very well defended by, by yes. Barcelona. You need to say so. So this was super great here. He really attacked massively, and now we have the... Oh, we have a referee three. call here oh. before the halftime, immediately One before second. the halftime. And that was referee. Yeah. And we see two minutes, two minutes. Two this minutes. Year, Sean, yeah. For num what was the player? Maybe we, we can find we it can. here. But there's a two minutes penalty against Barcelona and it's halftime. So the two minutes is starting with the second half of the match. March is starting like with six players while Barcelona needs to start with five players for two minutes. Um, in the second half. This is of course a big advantage now here for March. Mm -hmm. um, even March is leading 3-0 uh, at yeah. the point. So it makes it more tough even for Barcelona. Definitely. Um, I'm going to do a quick recap in Spanish. Yep. Um, uh, empezamos el partido muy fuerte a partir de, de, de March del equipo de Alemania. Uh, pero Barcelona se reencontró y uh, manejaba uh, la pelota muy bien. Eh, y su defensa está esforzando más y pueden salir con la pelota también. Entonces tenemos 3-0 por March eh, y Barcelona con 0. Pero vamos, tenemos eh, eh, dos minutos eh, de pausa y después eh, diez minutos del segundo de segundo tiempo y pero Barcelona va a empezar con dos minutos fuera con un jugador entonces empiezan con cinco en el agua que va a ser un poco difícil creo que también hacen un cambio aquí sale el número 3 y no sé quién entra pero quizás el 11 puede ser so no number 21 is out and number 3 is out from Barcelona um, on the other <laughs> side, we see Matthias Otten here with number 24. Yeah. is going out because he's not wearing a cap anymore. And uh, I guess that another player then is coming in. Yeah. No, um, uh, we're on live. Just drinking. So there was coffee for Jens Dingle. I'm drinking coffee right now. That's uh, um, asked. In, I think it's a, it's a thing that he's it's drinking. No, yeah. it's, a, it's like... A, yeah, it's it was a something we had uh, during the World Championship yeah. when we are uh, like in the half time. He always uh, asked for an uh, espresso for a small <laughs> coffee yeah. to get like a bit like a, this yeah. heartbeat thing, like this adrenaline back. And here we see what is super nice. You see this jersey is the, yeah. the the Spanish team is playing with. And to mm -hmm. be honest, also the Mulch team is owning jerseys, but mm -hmm. unfortunately they're not playing with that. Would be super nice to have it here because it makes it much more easier for us to see. We see in the back, we see Matthias Otten here now yeah. sitting down. So there must be a, a new player coming in. Maybe it's also Martin Schottmüller, if I've seen correct, is out. Maybe he's just put his mask on. But on the right-hand side, we see Jochen Schottmüller now here with his um, <laughs> now in the corner back, who is like washing himself, like preparing for the cold water and coming back in the yes. match. So there must be like... A, Exchange of players on the March side. Of course, it makes sense. They're coming here with 15 yes. players, and everyone wants to play, and it gives a good chance here with a 3-0 So we're starting lead. really fast from the Barcelona side, grabbing the ball, getting into a scrum. Um, you have seen here number five here, uh, yeah. Jens Dingle, with all the coffee. He could not make it to grab the ball, so maybe we should try this pattern from the next game on. We see Marcos Eckhart here with the number one, yeah. waiting to receiving the ball downstairs, but there's nothing happens. There's a scrum at the surface, and uh, now here. We see Alexander Wicht with number 15 here getting the ball, passing down. 
trying to to Georg Daringer and so he's we now going have, fast. Um, yeah, we have four or five people down from Barcelona trying to get yeah. catch of the ball. Carlos and very Now we can see Jochen Schopenhauer with number 10 getting, waiting getting for the catch ball from Daringer. Getting but free. Super 15, Super Barcelona 15. Uh, Carlos Santiveri. Great. Great yeah. save here. He's a good player. He came from, from natation, from swimming. Um, and he's playing Sorry. quite a lot. Nice catch here. Yeah. Georg Daringer lost the ball, was not watching. And we see here Jochen Schopenhauer again. And here Michael Wiesel, number 11. He tries he to break through. Mm -hmm. Number 23 is really fast player. It's Daniel. Um, trying here, passing to his teammate. Number 5, Alejo. Um, now they're trying to establish and move around the Very basket. Nice. Now the number 23 is down again, moving to the Trying to the steal ball. the ball from Daniel Garcia. Yeah. Uh, stealing the basket, but it's, yeah. Yeah, that's just... Well, nice pattern. We have seen it by the ladies from Barcelona before, but you need to you need to consider that when you're placing a player on the opponent basket, it's one player left, like, bringing the ball there. So you need to be, like, you have super, yeah. you need to have super strong players here. And here you see Sasha Buchner with number two, trying to... Pumps through the basket, but he was not able to do that. So, so far, to be honest, in comparison to the first half, it's much better It's much stronger defender. from the Barcelona yeah. side. Much right. better defended. I don't know if yeah. they also had some... Uh, they, had they changed anything yeah, in their... Yeah, they... Their um, number 21 got out is Magi Rovira, who normally plays as the goalie, and then I saw number 3 out. Yeah, and you see Colin Lively here, number three, trying to punch through, but he's, there's no way Barcelona is number even uh, super yeah. physically defending. Number elf, uh, number uh, number elf, number know. eleven, <laughs> entered. Uh, that's Camilo Conca. Um, trying again, yeah. here. Christian Ferschler with number nine here. We can see, and it's always the same. They're trying to come from the center, yes. trying to pass left or the right hand side. But Barcelona is super well in their positioning and, and can, can catch the ball from. Now he was a blind pass. There was no no yeah. player at all. But it was a nice, super nice novice. thinking. You see number 15, Carlos. Is Jürgen yeah. Scheer was it with number eight. Christian there, Fischler oh, coming from the ball. Oh, that's strong. That's a strong. That's and, and, and he tries to make it. Yeah. Was this it? Was, yeah. Or Georg da, Georg da and uh, uh, Jürgen Schier was yes. with number 8, who attacked initially from the ball, but he break, or he stopped, then he passed back to Christian Fürschler, yeah. who immediately attacked the goalkeeper without being attacked yeah. by himself, and he could like put it in with a one against one fight. So he yeah. made now here the 4 0 in favor for yeah. March. And they also the, the the commentaries are saying that they Barcelona is improving and um, stealing more balls from March while they attack. Mostly we see number 15, um, but we also saw number 11 who oh, came fresh Jochen in. Oh, there's Schottmiller here trying to make it yes. by his own. But you see now again, it's similar to what we have seen yeah. with the ladies. It's now getting more individual. Yeah. So they're they're missing a bit like this this team passing around March, the basket. Right. But maybe they're just trying here yeah. to get a bit like this scoring feeling. I so don't know what it is. So we have number 17, uh, Chef, um, above the basket. And you see number 7, um, Leo, is, uh, he really tries to um, get there. But he's a small player, but he's a fast and a muscled player. Mm -hmm. So he really tries there. Um, and we have a, also a nice mix of different types of players, like uh, uh, March as well. And now they're making a better job. I pass over to Toss in a second. So now we see here like a bit also a bit at certain situation. We have another referee call here. So it's in favor for Barcelona. So there was like a attacking the equipment or something. Or no, it was like a hitting the ball or hitting. Um, so he has favor for Barcelona now with his free throw. And uh, yeah. So they're passing over to the sides. We need to remember, or we need to mention that the f we need to remember that the first two minutes of the match, yes. Barcelona played with just five players. Yeah. And, uh, really thinking about that, there was quite less yes. attack, like pressure, on the basket. While we had them at least a minute ago at the final score at the 4-0. Um, so even we need to remember that Barcelona and like uh, or March with the power play was could not score but it takes, took them later than on uh, with this 1-1 one, one situation of Christian Fürschler here to score the next goal. This, was, this, this is super nice at all. Like, yeah, uh, it is really. Being with one player less is a, is a huge disadvantage in such a pool. But they managed it quite good. 
Now they're passing. Oh, there was, oh that was really nice rescued from the Barcelona player. Number 27. Um, Super close. It must be Jürgen Schier. He was not able to finalize his counter attack to turn it into a goal here. Quite. And here's another. Oh, that's another. Oh, that was above Sasha Buchner. Nobody, that was really close. That was just like missing the goalkeeper of Barcelona. Now it's missing the defense. Sometimes it happens when they um, players change outside the water. Now we have a stolen basket from Marsh. Number six. Who's who's uh, number six? Marsh. Number six. Georg Daringer here yeah. is stealing the basket now here. But at least you see that the ball is somewhere else. So there must be a roughing or something on the surface. Even the referee stopped the ball. It looked like that it was outside of the field. Maybe they're discussing who is now having the ball. Oh, so they're like dividing the teams, dropped. and it will be like maybe a referee ball. But what we have seen here was super nice. Two, three waves from yes. Marcher Tekken. And Almost scoring, but Barcelona really from the scratch here, from, from the They ring, really got they into the quip of defending. Yeah. They, they, if we see the first half, we, we had some, we had three of... Had we four or three in the first three half? Three in the first, in the first half. Yeah. half. So we have three here in the first half. So you see they're really attacking um, yeah. and defending. They're defending really better now. It's like they heard us and heard the, the <laughs> commentaries on the live stream. They've been um, motivated by their <laughs> supporters. Yeah, You've seen like the, the, the Spanish girls are standing behind yeah, the Spanish really fans. And of course they're going to cheer them super, super yep. hard. Maybe this likes are like... It's, it's, it's bringing more energy inside, like releasing a lot of yeah. energy now we have in here. After the discussion, there's a favor now here for uh, for Malch having this free throw and let's see if they can score another one. So far they made a good job. Yeah, a really good job. But okay. Barcelona also made a super nice job in the defending. Unfortunately, we have not seen a super nice chance of the Barcelona team on the offense mm -hmm. side. So they were mainly focusing on defense here, but in this, talking about this, they made a super nice job. I think the next game for Barcelona is um, Vienna tomorrow. Mm -hmm. I think that will be also a very interesting game, despite interesting, what we've yeah. seen now. Yeah. Um, Martin Vienna played earlier. What seven, was it? Seven zero. Seven was zero. It so four zero against Barcelona is quite. Uh, Barso Barcelona is really doing a good job. And you need um, to remember that there have been two minutes. In five five players yeah. only in the water. So. So now we have a time out from Barcelona. They're trying to gather Pruitt, um mm -hmm. really getting the crib of it. Um, so let's see. We need to. We need also to to mention that let's say March they they playing a bit different. So have you seen, for example, Jochen Schottmüller? Yeah. I've not seen in the first half. Yeah. So he changed with his brother because his brother is right now out. I don't see Martin Schottmüller anymore. As you need to remember, yeah. we don't have an, like an, fresh uh, players. Uh, like we don't receiving here the the, the exchange. Numbers uh, here at oh, the referee uh, commentator desk, the teams. but yeah, we need to guess. So, but this is what I see, and so you could say it's not the, let's say, top squad in the water. They're more mixing the player. Maybe they're trying to make save some energy for the upcoming days and matches. Yes. Um, but whatever they're trying, it's super close. But not super efficient. So March is yeah. of course they're still playing the game, but you you can really see that. Some players are that important for that match, yeah. for their game style, even fi for finalizing their attacks. So, um, yeah. Let's see how it will be in the next matches. But so we have two, almost, let's say, nearly three minutes left here. I think this will be, we have, we have here, we, we, we can see here a clear winner with March. But here, maybe we have seen the first attack now. Uh, he's oh, holding the basket. They, he, he will clearly hold the basket, yeah. one of the, one of the Barcelona players. He should have been seen by the referee. This is at least the attack was super nice, and he, if he would made it with his legs, he even would would get closer to the basket. But he's not allowed to grab the basket. This should have should have been seen and called by the referee. But game is going on, so um, it was not like a significant uh, situation here right now. But this is something that I'm wondering right now that the referee has not seen that. Yes. But here you see now a lot of respect on the March side. They're super defense orientated yeah. right now, what they're usually not. As the ball is uh, quite far away from the basket. But, um, but now I think it's there's a all, and even the basket is stolen. No, right it's stolen. Now. And Can you see the number? Yeah, referee is number nine from Barcelona. Ah, Camilo Gaetan. Yeah. 
He's now lying on the basket and now number 15 is even... Oh, switching even into switching it! it yeah. Carlos Santi very strong switching the and basket. You, and now you see Colin Lively and he yeah. needs to take care that he's not pushing the goalkeeper or yeah. the number 15 too far, so too strong away because this is a foul. Yeah. He's not allowed to do this. Number 15 here, come, Carlos is still lying on the basket. And, and this gives a nice attacking. advantage and here you see Christian Bova is also not allowed to push. And so he's he's That's been there a long far. time, still, yeah, still holding on to it. But now, now he had to go. No, and Christian Bro yeah. was right after him. So it would oh, have number been an end. Number three is going in. This was the best chance so far for yes. Barcelona. Two two good chances. Yeah. Really really close. Number three, have you seen Daniel Garcia here with the best chance on the Barcelona side? Yeah. Here in the match. Unfortunately, could not make it, but it started with number 15, lying Carlos Santivieri, lying on the basket, stealing the basket away, stayed there for almost a minute, and then there was the attack oh. later from number, from Daniel Garcia with so number 23. 40 seconds Who missed left. to score here, the first goal for Barcelona. Yes. We have 30 seconds left, and this was a super nice, let's say, uh, Last action here from Barcelona, but maybe there's another one. Jochen Schottmiller here yes. right now with the single situation Trying attack really him the to, basket. To, to go there. I think, I think Barcelona well came... Well defended here. Yeah. And again here we see Barcelona super physically. Wow. Yeah, really, Junior, really fast. Job, Can look at time, get trip. We have a player in front and now a eight referee second referee call. call, seven seconds before the end of but the game. But this must be the end of the game because yeah. the time is running and you see uh, 23 is they're super excited in all Barcelona team, they're celebrating so themselves. So it's over. They, they did not score but they no. made a super nice match yeah. here against Mulch. Mulch not playing with the top yeah. squad we would say because they have a lot of like uh, uh, like players usually and like let's say yeah. Players they played, for example, in the German final, like Martin Schottmüller or Jochen Schottmüller, just played one half, and they are very important yeah. players here for March. Nevertheless, they they made here four goals. We have seen the first one; it must be Markus Eckert or Matthias Otten. The second one we have not seen. The third should 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 have been Martin Schottmüller. Yeah. Um, from the point I've seen, and the fourth one on the clearest one, because this was Christian Furschler with a 1-1 situation from half above attacking yes. the goalkeeper in a 1-1 situation. Yeah. On so the other side, we see number 23, Daniel Garcia, in the last minute of the match with the best chance here so far for Barcelona. So a great match here, thanks to both teams here who yeah. played very um, well. And I'm um, handing over then to... Lisa. So, uh, are you handing? Okay. So Lisa is coming in. I'm just doing a quick recap in, in Spanish. Um, Barcelona perdió, um, pero realmente ha jugado muy bien, eh, sobre todo en, en, la segun, en el segundo tiempo, um, eh, dándolo todo, eh, robando la portería por durante unos minutos o segundos, um, y ha establecido su defensa eh, muy bien en los partidos. Eh, ahora... Um, sigo en inglés because the next game um, is here Lisa joining me I'm sorry back. two girls again I'm hi back. yeah hi Annika hi Lisa hi. so it's always nice commenting with you thank you nice yeah. with you too oh. did a great job thank you so so if you have any any things um, we, we can improve it's my first day commenting I think you're doing a great job oh, thank you <laughs> so uh, it's the game before last for today yes. So last women's game uh, in Group E, and we have Akaren, so it's their second game today, <laughs> and against uh, Firenze from Italy. Um, yes, so Akaren in blue, Firenze in white, and we have the team list here. Should I do a Karen again on sure. Firenze? You have you some practice already. In English? Uh, tell them. I don't, but names are okay. Okay, so um, Karen for the second game, we have number two again, uh, Marie Petteteig, number three, Stine uh, Rosogdal, number four is uh, Tove uh, Holland, number six is Lisbeth um, Hawksver, number seven is Barrett uh, Deathly, number nine is Kilorg Hulen, number 13 is Cecile Scorer, Number 15 is Odd Ingrid Crafting. Number 16 is uh, Irene Rawlson. Number 17 is Eli Haugen. Number 19 is Hilde Hestangen. Number 20 is Christina Nergard. And number 25 is, 25 is Lise Knudsen. Oh, so you're doing, here's the Italian list. You want okay. to do yes. them? Yes, we have Sofo Firenze, we have 
Number two, Anita Ricchi. Number three, Irene Vicenzo. Five, Elena Rosato. Six, Virginia Pozzolo. Seven, Pia Skillstad. Ten, Valentina Anichini. Eleven, Claudia Ricci. Twelve, Cristina Yamali. Uh, Thirteen, Lucia Alessandrini. Sixteen, Cristina Papadopoulou. Twenty-one, Stefania Coca. Twenty-nine, Meto Apostoli. And forty-one, Eleonora Iacchetti. So it will be um, a tough game for Firenze. They're playing against uh, the last Champions Cup winner, Karen. Um, they're really strong in the Norwegian team. Um, and the Italians have a lot of, of uh, new players. Actually, yes. I was speaking with them before. Um, there is only four or five players, actually, who are playing at the World Championships in Graz. Okay. And then you have a uh, few players who are playing for basically one yeah. year. So it, it will be very yeah, interesting. interesting and, uh, to and see. lots of players. It's their first 